Hey guys, welcome back to day 3 of mastering AutoCAD electrical. Hope you are following along. Today we are going to draw our first electrical drawing. Learn how to use a mouse effectively and understand different selection technique in AutoCAD electrical. So grab your mouse, fire up the AutoCAD and let's dive in. Let's start by creating a new drawing in our project. You can simply start new drawing by clicking on the plus sign just below the ribbons. You can double press it and your drawing surface will appear like this. Now let's talk about uh, mouse controls before directly jumping into the drawing. Because understanding how to navigate is key to working efficiently. The left click on your mouse is used to select or place object. And the right click is used for quick access to descent commands or contextual options which you can see on the screen. Uh, then, if you want to zoom in and out, you can simply use the scroll wheel like this. Similarly, if let's say if you want to move around the drawing or let's say pan around the drawing, you simply have to press and hold the scroll wheel such that a um, hand-like figure will appear on the screen. And when you move the mouse, your drawing sheet will pan uh, around or let's say move. Uh, another way of doing this is by simply right clicking and using the pen tool uh, like this and when you left click and hold you can move around the drawing or there's a pen around the drawing. Uh, if you want to exit the pen tool you simply have to press escape in your keyword escape and the regular cursor will appear like this. Now let's say if we got uh, some object on the screen uh, you, and when you double click on the object a uh, property dialog will appear which is used to like say editing attributes. We will be talking about this in detail. Now let's exit this. Now let's go to actual font part that is drawing. Uh, from childhood when you started to draw or let's say write uh, letters you always started from the line. The line is the basic unit of any drawing. Uh, either it is uh, your uh, conservative paper drawing or your, your completed design drawing. So we'll be starting with the drawing. Uh, first let's use the ribbon method as there are many methods to draw the line you have to go to the home tab on the ribbon you can see go to the home tab it's already in the home tab now you have to click on the line tool in the drawing panel here is your line tool in your drawing panel simply key, click on it and now click anywhere in your drawing to start let's say i want to draw my line from here then move your mouse uh, and when you find the desired uh, next point or let's say your line is of desired angle and length you can simply I click again to end the line and one line is drawn now if you want to draw another line or let's say a continuous line you can simply move your mouse uh, and left click like this and uh, other independent lines will be drawn remember these lines are independent now if you want to exit the line command you can simply hit uh, skip or enter like this and the line command will be gone. Now the, the second way of uh, doing the same thing is by using the command line which is how many pros prefer to work. Uh, simply just type line or L in your keyword and press enter. Now you have to specify the point. Let's say um, um, the point will be 0, 0, 0, 0. Now a line is being started from 0, 0. Then you can specify the distance and the angle. Let's say I want my line to be of distance 200 units and angle of 20 to uh, enter an angle from the keyword you have to use a simple then uh, key and a simple then and let's say my angle will be 45 degree now a line of 
Uh, for 200 units distance and 45 degree has been drawn on the screen as you can see. You can hit enter again to finish or skip. So my line is drawn by using the command line. This method gives you precision and is super powerful when combined with input ears. Now you have learned how to draw a line. Uh, you can see the drawing are quite messy and you can uh, you have no restrictions or regulation. So if you want to make your drawing clean and aligned, you can use snap and uh, green method which is on the status bar. You can simply go on a status bar. Currently you can see the stamp mode is off and you can click the uh, click it and your stamp mode will be on. Now if we have to draw lines Your line will be snapping uh, onto the grids, which allows you to draw uh, thinner, thinner lines and clearly. You can see these lines are snapping on the grids, and you are able to get a thin drawing. Now, another way of drawing peel line if you want to mm, make square or have perfect 90 degree angles you can use the auto mode in your status bar yeah the auto mode is currently off now i want to now draw a square that have 90 degrees i can simply click on the auto mode and on it now when i draw a line i can only draw either vertically or horizontal that is in 90 degrees and I'm able to get a perfect square. Super helpful for drawing clean schematics and aligning wires or letters. Now, you may have already known other drawings we, are, we have done on the sheet. And to go to those drawings, you had to simply uh, click on your scroll wheel twice and you will go to your original drawing. Uh, this is super helpful when you have big drawing and get lost. Let's say uh, the x and y coordinate start are 0, 0 coordinate are here and you start starting and when you draw around you you go anywhere in the drawing and you f forgot where the initial position was. Now just double click on your scroll wheel then you will go to the initial place where your drawing was. So you will not get lost. Now let's talk about uh, selection. Uh, selecting object properly is essential. Here are some post selection methods. You can simply single, uh, single click directly on the object to select, uh, select it. The object is select, selected. Now you can press delete if you want to delete the object. Then if you want to uh, S uh, select a uh, multiple object you can uh, use by use your left click and move your mouse remember you don't have to hold your left click as you do usually you have to simply click your left click once and move move the mouse to s select the object the object has been selected and now you can delete the object like this Another method is by you know, holding your left uh, click button. This will create a la lasso like this. And your object will be selected by using the lasso. And you can simply press click to delete it. So these are the selection tools. Uh, I have given you a few assignments below in the description. I hope you sincerely try those out. Uh, grades of today, you have learned how to start a drawing, navigate with your mouse and select like a pro. If you found this helpful, hit the like button, comment below with any question and subscribe so you don't miss the day 4. Where we will be doing more exciting things and your subscription will encourage us to bring more uh, exciting tutorials for future. Thank you. Mr. Vlog.